Chris, stop. Why are you recording the nursing home? I'm speaking to you. I'm getting complaints about your actions. What is going on? Chris. Please, please let me go. No, I uh, need to find out what's going on. You're upsetting the people who work here. Why are you being that way, dude? Like what? Hey, can I not you can photograph on the sidewalk? They were, they, were, they were concerned that you were photographing residents inside. No, there wasn't. You weren't? No. You just photographing? Look, all these vines are closed, yeah. Along here? I don't know if yeah, they are or not. Go look at them. <laughs> all right. Why wouldn't you stop when she asked you to? Do I have to? Yes. Was I being detained? Yes. What crime was I suspected of committing? You really want to go that route? Welcome back to Legal Descent, where we evaluate your constitutional rights before they're taken away. Thank you so much for joining us, and as always, if you enjoy our content, please do consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and interacting with us in the comments below. It really does help us out a lot in the YouTube algorithm. All of the links to the original channel, videos, case law, statutes, and any other sources we use are located in the description below. Along with all of our contact information, if you have a video that you would like us to evaluate. On July 5th, 2019, IDC Chris was walking down a public sidewalk in Mendota, Illinois. While walking, he was filming the exterior of a nursing home. Employees of the nursing home allegedly called the police, and Officer Holland of the Mendota Police Department was the first to arrive. speaking to you. I'm getting complaints about your actions. What is going on? Chris! Please, please let me go. No, I uh, need to find out what's going on. You're upsetting the people who work here. So stop. I'm gonna go. I'm ordering you to stop. So I, stop. I don't, you work for me. I don't work for you. Well, I work for the public who right. called me here because of the actions. Did I do today. anything illegal? You're upsetting the people who live here. Did I do anything illegal? 27 from 156. Can you assist? You need to stop, okay? I'm gonna What go. is going on and why Is are this you... illegal? I want to know what's going on because you're upsetting these people. I want to know what you're Did doing. Did I do anything illegal? I don't answer questions. Definitely Disorderly not to you. Disorderly conduct, Chris. Disorderly conduct, how? alarming and disturbing the people who Am I allowed here? to photograph on the sidewalk or no? I'm trying to figure out what you're doing. Okay. Chris? Look, she's... I'm going to put you in handcuffs if you don't stop. You can put me in handcuffs. Okay, then stop. No, you can put me in handcuffs. This isn't illegal. Stop. This is not legal. This what are you doing? This is not legal. Chris? This is not legal. I'm trying. Okay, I'm, I'm going I'm about my day. I'm detaining you until I can find out what you're doing and why you're doing this. This Put is illegal. That's a Terry stop. I'm detaining you. That's a Terry stop. Put your phone down. That's a Terry stop. Disorderly conduct is defined in Illinois Chapter 270, Section 26-1, and it's a catch-all statute covering a lot of different activities. The two that would apply in this instance would be subsection 1 and subsection 11. Subsection 1 provides that a person commits disorderly conduct when he or she knowingly does any act in such unreasonable manner as to alarm or disturb another. Notice these terms, alarming and disturbing, is the exact verbiage used by the officer. That's how. Alarming and disturbing the people who Am I allowed... However, the statute requires a person to knowingly commit an act in an unreasonable manner. There are many actions a person can make that could be seen as alarming or disturbing to others, but is perfectly legal for them to do, and it's not unreasonable for them to do those activities. Filming in public is a constitutionally protected activity. Therefore, Chris filming from the sidewalk the exterior of a building might be considered rude, strange, alarming, and disturbing, but it cannot be considered unreasonable. Section 11 is Illinois' Peeping Tom statute that criminalizes the actions of a person when they enter upon the property of another and for a lewd or unlawful purpose deliberately looks into a dwelling on the property through any window or other opening. 
This again would not apply because the statute requires that an individual must enter upon the property of another. The public sidewalk is not the nursing home's property. Therefore, Chris has not violated this law. So unless there are facts that we are missing, such as Chris entering upon the property and deliberately attempting to film people in their home, then disorderly conduct does not apply and the officer does not have reasonable articulable suspicion to detain him at this time. Officers cannot detain someone simply to figure out what they are doing. They are required to have reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime being committed. I also want to point out that the officer obviously knows Chris. She immediately recognizes him and calls him by name. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that, but it is a little strange. A couple of minutes later, Sergeant Stewart arrives on the scene. Why are you recording him inside? I'm definitely not answering questions to you guys, but... Okay, I'll hold them and go see if they'll sign a complaint Absolutely. for disorderly conduct. <laughs> Why are you being that way, dude? Like what? Hey, can I not you can photograph on the sidewalk? They were, they, were, they were concerned that you were photographing residents inside. No, there wasn't. You weren't? No. You just photographing... Look, all these vines are closed, yeah? Along here? I don't know if yeah, they are or not. Go look at them. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Why wouldn't you stop when she asked you to? Do I have to? Yes. Was I being detained? Y yes. What crime was I suspected of committing? You really want to go that route? This is a mic drop moment, or better to fit his t-shirt, his Super Saiyan moment. And these questions asked to the officer are powerful. What crime am I suspected of committing? Yes. Everyone wants to go that route because that is the constitutional route, that is the legal route, and that is the only route that matters. What, what crime We're investigating that? somebody acting in a disorderly manner. How? You're video recording a nursing home and but, the, you're upsetting the residents. on the sidewalk. We didn't know that. Don't we have to talk Photography about it? Photography on the sidewalk. Do okay. I have to answer questions to that? No, I don't. Wow. Do I? Where'd you get your law degree, man? Do I? Chris is as qualified to practice law as Sergeant Stewart is. Well, if you just cooperated with her, you wouldn't be in handcuffs, right? That's what we got to get to the bottom of. Is Silence. there being a crime committed? Silence is the consent for you to consistently rate. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Not a problem. If I do not. What? Did I do anything illegal? That's what we're trying to figure out. That's a Terry side. You have to come up to me and make consensual contact because, you know why? Because I did not do anything illegal. Okay. 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 We'll do a Terry stop uh, or a contact card with you. That way you'll be served with. But no, you forced a Terry stop on me. No, we have to do an no, investigative you, stop. You guys just put me in handcuffs. I didn't because you're disobeying an officer. How? Is she told you to stop and come here. You're, you're Did I do anything illegal? That's what we're trying to determine. Okay, I, so so. I'm not going to argue with no you. No reasonable suspicion. I'm not going to argue with you. No reasonable suspicion. Yes, there is. No, that what? What, what is define reasonable suspicion? What, what crime am I? Suspected define reasonable suspicion. Of, what crime am I suspected of committing? Well, isn't that what we're here to investigate? Do you suspect me of committing a crime? Yeah, it's what reported crime? you were committing a crime. What crime? You're videotaping residents inside the nursing home. Inside the nursing home, and what, is that illegal from the sidewalk yes. to, to videotape? To videotape people inside. To videotape. Yeah, they have a right to privacy. Is illegal. To videotape from the sidewalk. No, you're asking two separate questions. So is videotaping from the sidewalk Tell me what reasonable illegal? suspicion is, being is, that you're asking is, that question. Is videotaping from the sidewalk illegal? Okay, but, but how do we know that you aren't doing something illegal because it got reported so that you were? assuming. No, we got a report. We're not assuming. You we were reported. saying what? That you were doing something illegal. That I was, so you got a report. Yeah, this guy here is doing something illegal. Didn't say what, though? That you're videotaping the residents inside the nursing home. No. Okay. There's, no, there's nobody in there. And am I videotaping on their property or on the sidewalk? Here's the thing. That's what we're it's trying like, to determine. This is illegal. This is illegal right here. No, this you can be detained. It's no, not illegal. I can't forcibly be detained when I'm You're not, not being detained. forcibly detained. Yes, you're being detained in handcuffs. I'm being, I'm being held here against my will. I am being okay. held here against my will. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Am I free to go? No, you're not free to go. Okay. You're being detained. For what crime am I suspected of committing? We already told you. Videotaping on the sidewalk. No, no, that's your what you're saying. That's what you're saying. Illegal detainment. That's what you're saying you're doing. Oh, 
They said you were visit tape, visit videotaping so residents inside. Call. Yes. They, they made the call? Yes. Okay. Reasonable suspicion is not a high burden. It merely requires the stop be made from specific reasonable inferences, which the officer is entitled to draw from the facts in the light of the officer's experience. If someone had truly reported that Chris was trespassing on the nursing home's property and recording people through their windows, then the officers would have had reasonable suspicion of a crime. However, we'll find out later that this is not the case and that Sergeant Stewart just lied about what was actually reported. Again, law enforcement officers are legally allowed to lie to you, and many confessions are coerced through dishonest and manipulative interrogation tactics. Therefore, remain silent and lawyer up if you are being questioned. So what? So Disorderly conduct. Okay. Disorderly conduct? Yes. How? For what? I already explained that to what you. What did guys. I do? Disorderly. So, what did I what? do? <clears throat> we'll put him in the car and then we'll talk about what's going on. Okay. What did I do? Disorderly. Okay. I got your phone. Thank you. You're welcome. Is it still on record? I don't know. At this point, it seems that the sergeant is beginning to realize that Officer Holland is overstepping her bounds. They put Chris into the police car, and Sergeant Stewart wants to know what evidence Officer Holland has for the arrest for disorderly conduct. Pop your trunk. So what did he do that was disorderly? Pop your trunk. What's he recording? The whole side of the people outside. I'm like, I'm getting complaints about you being over here recording. And he's like, walk away. I'm like, Chris, come here. Okay. Chris, come here. Chris, come here. But what was he doing that they feel is disorderly? It, I explained to them the situation and they said, Sam, what was he doing that was disorderly? He was recording them in the windows. The people? And he's walking by. He On this side too? or? I don't know if it was that side, but when I came up, he was walking all around this way. He was recording the windows, he was recording the doors, he was recording everything. And I'm like, Chris, I need to talk to you about this complaint. He just keeps walking like, Chris, I need to talk to you about this complaint. Who, who all seen him doing that? Were there residents in the windows? Uh, I don't know if residents were in the windows, but we had a caller about it. And I need to get a hold of them and see where exactly they are. So he's walking by videotaping the building? He's videotaping the building, he's like zooming in on the windows, what, what, zooming that's... in on the doors. I know. It's and not illegal to do so that. I explained to them what's going on, and they're like, oh my gosh, okay, I, I don't know what he's doing. They're okay, but time out. State. That's not illegal to do that. Okay. So he's not acting in a disorderly manner if he's on the sidewalk walking by videotaping the outside of the building. Okay. But That's the problem we have. Yeah, and they were disturbed by his actions once they found out what was going on. So they were willing to sign him. But... How are they? They're disturbed that he's walking on the sidewalk videotaping? They were concerned because they don't know his mental state. They don't know what he was doing. They, and I told him I can't Well, he point. wasn't, I mean, other than not obeying you, which is a no-no, mm -hmm. which, I mean, that is what it is. But as far as walking by with a video <laughs> camera, I mean, I'm not, I, that's that's not something that. They said even they were bothered by the actions that he was doing. I mean, you could be bothered by a lot okay. of things, Sam. I think this is something we need to send down to the state's attorney's office. Okay. As much as he's irritated you. Oh, no, he hasn't bothered me at all. Well, I, I just, he wouldn't stop, and he wouldn't... I understand. He wouldn't but, stop, and he kept pulling away. But this I'm is... Like, Chris, you can't do that. Yeah, just... So, um, I, I think what we're going to do... Well, I want to know what that caller said, too, and what they had seen also. Neither of these officers have even bothered to talk to the caller about the actual report that was made. They have absolutely zero facts that they can make specific, reasonable inferences from that Chris was committing a crime. Now, I do appreciate that the sergeant was willing to ask the appropriate questions of Officer Holland, but in the meantime, you have an innocent person handcuffed in the back of a squad car because some people were disturbed by him exercising his First Amendment rights. Rights that are in need of protection are the rights that disturb and upset people. Well, the thing is, Sam, he's on a sidewalk. He's videotaping the building. Okay. I'll, we can send it down to the state's attorney's office for them okay. to review for charges, but it, it's not illegal. Okay. I mean, if he's... 
walking up onto the door, like all the way up to the door, and he's shining the phone in, videotaping, then yeah, that's a problem. Okay. But if he's walking on the public sidewalk, I mean, even if it's their sidewalk, I mean, he's just videotaping the building. People videotape schools. Oh, yeah. Is that alarming and disturbing? Yeah, I mean, it's something they're not used to, but, and yeah, he's he's a jerk, but I, I mean, that, that beside the point, I mean. He wasn't stopping, and I'm trying to address he's, a, he, he's what we call in the military a crap house lawyer, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's they one of these people. Stops. So he acts that way, and you know what? That's how he is. He's been raised that way. Okay. So we don't have enough to arrest him at this time. We can okay. we detained him, which we were legally able to do. Oh, absolutely. We were within our justification to do so. Um, however, I don't feel at this point we can send it down for them to review, but I don't think what he's doing is something that constitutes uh, getting arrested. Okay. Okay. I'll yeah. explain it to him. Ultimately, they let Chris go on his way and the sergeant talks to him for a while about how he can film, but he needs to be smart about it because most of the people inside the nursing home are old and or female. You can reasonably believe that what Chris was doing was rude and in poor taste, but it is not illegal. In our society today, so much of our social bandwidth is occupied with feelings and emotions, with many individuals and organizations pushing an agenda that forces everyone to abide by a certain social doctrine or risk being canceled, and even calling for government intervention to prevent people from having a platform to espouse ideas that might be disturbing or alarming. The issue with that is freedom of speech is necessary even if it allows evil things to be said. In early America, it was disturbing to many to hear the ideas of William Lloyd Garrison preaching the evils of slavery. It alarmed people to hear the beliefs of Susan B. Anthony. Martin Luther King Jr. upset people with his orations. Sometimes you need to disturb people with your speech. That is how positive change occurs not by canceling people and defanging the power of the First Amendment, but by allowing the freedom of expression and the flow of ideas to thrive. In the meantime, remember that no matter who you are, you have value and you have rights. Do not be afraid to use them, and we'll see you next time right here on Legal Descent.